Hey, hello there. Uh, so today's Lee coding challenge question is called perfect squares. We have a positive integer number n, and uh, we're looking at uh, decom decomposing this uh, positive integer number n into a sum of uh, a few square numbers. A few square numbers are like uh, 1, 4, 9, uh, 16, which is the integer number uh, power of 2. And uh, we want to find a way such that uh, we require least the number of square numbers to do this sum. To, uh, to, to sum them up to n. So looking at example, we have 12 as the positive integer number. The, the most uh, inefficient way of getting the sum to 12 is have 12, 1 added together. And uh, that's the most inefficient one. A uh, better solution is to add 9 with 3, 1. So we get uh, 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. To, we can get 12 with 4 numbers. Um, but it's still not the optimal. The shortest uh, uh, you know, the least number solution is to add 3, 4 together to get 12. So if we think uh, this is a sort of like a graph or a tree, uh, we have the one side, that's the n, the other side is basically 0, and we want to find a pass to go from n to 0, um, and each pass, each choice uh, at any given position is basically what square number we subtract from this uh, left-hand side node value. So we uh, and and we want to find a pass from n to zero. Uh, that's the shortest. So we we can do BFS search for to find this shortest pass. Um, yeah. So any given node in the level, we basically in the in the level of the BFS search, we're gonna consider uh, all the possible square numbers that uh, we subtract and move forward. And uh, the first time that uh, if we do this in the BFS search level by level. Uh, search the first time we find uh, a pass from n to zero. That's the uh, the number of links in between is going to be the uh, yeah it's going to be the shortest. Uh, uh, it's going to be the number of uh, least the number of uh, square numbers we need to to do this. So that that's basically the solution intuition uh, because we are looking for the least and uh, it looks like uh, it can be think about uh, uh, you know target node to a destination node uh, kind of uh, search and uh, when we find the shortest it's gonna uh, we can use BFS search for this um, yeah so that, that's that's really it Let, let's code this thing up um, so uh, the first thing is to populate all those square numbers Uh, we can do a little bit uh, over, so we take a square root of n and uh, uh, take a flaw of that and add 1 so that uh, the upper bound the square number, the largest square number has to be uh, at least larger than the, uh, the square root integer number. So in making sure that uh, we can consider, we are considering all the square numbers we potentially need. Uh, and then we're just going to do level by level BFS search. The first level is the source node, the root node, the, the n as, as a whole number. Uh, we want to find uh, the first time when, when this number decreased to zero. Uh, so we just count the number of levels that uh, we looked at. So while level is not empty, uh, we will initialize a, a set to hold uh, the candidate remainder, the node's value for the next level. Uh, the reason we use a set is that there could be t t potentially be some duplicates. So let's say that from n we choose to subtract a 4 and then in the next uh, level we uh, subtract a 9. It will be uh, effectively the same as if we subtract a 9 in the first level and then subtract a 4. So um, using a set we can do some deep duplication. No matter 4 and 9 or 9 and 4, uh, in the second level's perspective uh, you are subtracting 13 with the first two nodes so uh, so we can use a set to do this deduplication um, yeah so we're just gonna do uh, remainder in level uh, if this remainder uh, is already zero uh, that means the count has been uh, incremented enough we can just return this count Otherwise, we're going to try to uh, 
decrease the remainder by trying all the possible square numbers we have. One uh, well, caveat is that uh, we can prune the tree uh, here. Also, we, we also have a chance to prune the tree a little bit. If the remainder is less than the square, that means if we subtract the square from the remainder, it's less than zero. That means we can uh, we can break basically. What's happening? Otherwise, we will put this uh, the difference onto the next level. Uh, and after we process the level, we add a, we increment the counter for the count and uh, assign the uh, new, uh, assign this uh, next level to level. Um, and in the end, we're just gonna return count. So this will be the uh, code. Let me just throw some in more tests. One, two, three, four, five, six. So for one, it will be one. So it will be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, three. Uh, seems okay. So let's submit. And it's working. Okay, so this is the BFS search solution. Let's talk about the, the time and space analysis for this. So here, uh, the space for the square numbers are uh, square root of uh, n, uh, roughly that, right? Because we go from 1 to square root of n and uh, creating all those square numbers. Uh, and uh, analyzing this is a little bit difficult. Uh, so uh, let's just enumerate this level by level. In the first level, we have one number. And that one number, um, you know, when we pop this uh, m from the level, so that's uh, th this for loop, it's just gonna run one iteration. And we're gonna try to subtract uh, the a square root of n number from the n and um, so the next level uh, it will become n so I'm just gonna comment here if we don't do any pruning so you know, thinking about uh, worst case uh, we don't do set and we don't do this break uh, it will be n to the square uh, the third level it will be n to the power of 3 so so that that's the um, time and space for the for doing this BFS search. Basically, it depends on uh, how far, how soon we find the uh, the perfect square numbers. So, mm, so let's say that uh, the lens for this is uh, you know here we have three. Let let's just call it uh, H. Um, so it will be. Oh, sorry, this is the square root of n. Uh, this is square root uh, of n to the third power. Uh, so the total runtime for this is uh, square root of n to the power of h subtracted by 1 actually I think um, no because I'm doing testing after that level has been processed it has to be to the truly power of h so yeah h if h is the least the number the least the number we need uh, the total runtime and space as well is going to be in the worst case it's going to be square root of n to the power of h so since square root is just the one half uh, it would just be h to the uh, n to the h divided by two. So that's that's the uh, time and space for for this solution. Uh, it will be less than that. That's the loose upper bound for that because we have this uh, pruning. We have the set for pruning as well. Uh, so uh, this is the worst case upper bound for that. And if you want to even generalize that more um, I guess the worst case for H is basically N uh, we're gonna have a huge number for one added together um, yeah so in the case of uh, one two three that, that's indeed the case so we have to duplicate uh, one for N times to get that so um, yeah 
So you can call it, uh, I guess, end to the end. Um, but gen generically, uh, if we can use a variable for the actual lens, it will be n to the power of h divided by 2. So yeah, that's the this question today. It's quite simple.